Cisco is an acronym. It stands for System and Services Company. We deal primarily with restaurants, schools, hospitals, anybody that's in the food service business. We use triple pallet jacks to move the groceries from our warehouse uh, to the docks, and they're powered traditionally by lead core batteries. The fuel cell that we use here in Grand Rapids was provided for us by Plug Power, and they are used in place of batteries. And the fuel cell itself provides a consistent level of power during its entire use of its fuel, which is different from our, our traditional batteries, which have a declining performance. As soon as you start using that battery, the power starts to decline, and therefore the performance of the piece of equipment declines with the decreasing power. The traditional battery lasts anywhere from six to eight hours, depending on how new that battery is, as compared to a fuel cell, which may last up to 14 hours per shift. Uh, huge savings for us because we're not changing batteries, we're not recharging batteries, so we have utility savings as well. Uh, but also our selectors stay busy selecting groceries uh, instead of uh, swapping batteries out. They're a very smooth operating source of power. We've had good results from a handling standpoint. Uh, the units themselves uh, weigh 600 pounds less than our, our previous batteries. And if you take the 600 pounds off, replace it with a new power cell, the handle, which the selector operates, becomes much easier to move around. And that's been an added benefit. The employees that operate the triple pallet jacks have been positive uh, in their feedback about uh, how they operate, how smooth they operate, and uh, so far we've had no negative feedback from them, which uh, is probably the most important vote of confidence. The people that actually use this day in, day out as part of their tools to do their job are, are enjoying the experience. The operators of these triple pallet jacks are responsible to fuel uh, their unit uh, when necessary. It operates much like a car uh, does in terms of uh, a fuel gauge. When it does indicate it needs to be refueled, the selector comes to the fuel station and goes through a very quick process, uh, usually less than a minute, to refuel uh, his or her particular uh, triple pallet jack. There are warehouses using this technology to various degrees already. Uh, we're on the front end of this change. Uh, I'd like to think in the future uh, this entire facility will be powered by an alternative fuel source. And if hydrogen is the answer, uh, we're certainly uh, one step uh, forward in the right direction. Our customers are asking for better solutions. They want to be quieter, they want to be lighter, they want to be smarter machines. Many of our products that are used for golf environments are in a situation where they're used very early in the morning. A lot of golf courses are being built around houses and they want quiet equipment. Fuel cells are a solution for this. We don't want to have to sacrifice performance in order to get the benefits of electric power. So first of all, one of our guiding principles is that the machines will be able to do the same tasks that you're used to and feel and operate much the same way. Given that assumption, there are some uh, differences. The components are different sized and different weights, so you have to repackage them in new areas. They have to be weather protected and environmental protected. They're basically off-road equipment. The fuel cells that we are using are called a PEM fuel cell. PEM stands for proton exchange membrane. And it's one of several types of fuel cells, particularly suitable for mobile applications because they're compact, lightweight, they start up fast, and they follow loads very quickly. We've chosen to use compressed hydrogen as a fuel storage on board in order to get enough volume of hydrogen, we are operating at 5,000 PSI uh, tanks. Keep the tanks lightweight instead of a thick, heavy-walled steel tank. We've got a composite tank. There is a bladder, either aluminum or some kind of plastic wrapped with threads to make the tank strong enough. We're able to get lightweight power and we can refuel quickly with the hydrogen where uh, and batteries, are, they're heavy and they take a lot of time to recharge. Hydrogen in a fuel cell is clean. It is completely green and you give off water. There's a, a lot fewer moving parts than in an engine, a lot less friction. As the industry evolves, there's no reason it shouldn't be able to get long life as one of its better attributes. In my opinion, hydrogen is safe when used properly. The systems have to be designed so that they're safe, people have to be trained, then it's just like handling any of these other high energy contents.
One of the key advantages that our industry has is that we are a fleet operation. Turf equipment on a golf course or a park system or something comes home to roost in the same building every night and then is deployed during the day and comes back. The ability to put in one central refueling site to take care of a bunch of product is inherent to our business. It lets us become, I think, a niche market that can start to use fuel cells quicker than uh, many other places. Funding provided by the U.S. Department of Energy's National Energy Technology Laboratory, the Energy and Environmental Research Center's National Center for Hydrogen Technology, and the members of Prairie Public.